Well, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a walk on the Pembrokeshire coast path from Newgale, which is down there, to Solver. Um, about five and a half miles each way. Um, yeah, the weather's not that great today. Just proves Pembrokeshire's not all sunshine and rainbows. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Park the car uh, next to New Surf, uh, which is New Girl Surf Shop, and follow the road up to a gap in the houses down here. And then you start the ascent. Uh, it's quite, quite strenuous to start with, but uh, once you're at the top, it does, uh, it does become easier. Uh, Newgale is a uh, west facing beach um, so it does take quite a bit of wind throughout the year and that proved popular with uh, surfers etc down on the beach there uh, the water area there is St Bride's Bay uh, you'll see tankers and everything anchored out there waiting to or waiting for confirmation they can arrive into the Milford Haven waterway I have walked this section once before uh, at five o'clock in the morning. Uh, it was pitch black, so obviously didn't get much footage. In fact, I didn't get any. There are a number of steps as you start to descend into Kunmawr, uh, which is the name of the valley here. But they are pretty well looked after, pretty solid steps. Now that there is a pretty spectacular building your own access to the beach. Pretty secluded there as well. It's definitely um, warmer than it looks. Quite humid. Fortunately for me, maybe not so for you. I have remembered my trunks. So I will probably end up dipping in the sea somewhere. Yeah, stay tuned for that, see how that goes. In the background there, we've got uh, Kumbach. Um, I don't think I've ever been on that beach. Yeah, in a very far distance there, you've got uh, Skoma Island. And then uh, the mainland there, Wooltak Point. I cannot remember this many steps and they're really high, so they're quite hard to uh, maintain any speed up. Just taking the views instead. Breathing. The one good thing about navigating on a coast path, <laughs> you can't get lost. As long as you keep the sea on your left or your right, depending which way you're going. If you're heading north, keep it on your left. If you're heading south, keep it on your right. There seems to be a lot of um, talk at the moment on various social media outlets about mental health and just general well-being. Um, personally, this sort of walk does wonders for me. Uh, gives you time to switch off just you're doing what you're doing you, you've got no time to think of anything else um, just being outside definitely does something for your self-perception it increases your self-esteem uh, your stress levels your mood levels and ironically the more exercise you do the less fatigued you feel we had one that <laughs> uh, just get outside go for a walk it doesn't have to be massive any walk, any time outside, any time away from screens, TVs, just outside, fresh air. Don't forget, if you're on Instagram, uh, drop me a follow at the underscore divine underscore outdoors. Um, don't forget to tag me in your pictures, uh, out and about. Like, share, subscribe. 
after this video and you'll be kept up to date with all the uh, latest releases. The coastline is an awesome place to walk. You very rarely see the same thing twice in exactly the same situation. Um, yeah, it's, it's an incredible place to walk. Pretty lucky in Pembrokeshire. Uh, we've got 186 miles of coast path. Uh, stretches around the entirety of the county. And further inland we've got some hills, mountains, whatever you want to call them. Uh, drop a comment in the boxes below. Tell me where you're watching it from, part of the world. And I got viewers in Doha, in Qatar, Dinas Vauer in the background there. Uh, this stretch of coast path is completely different to majority of the coast path that I've walked. Whereas this is quite lumpy, you end up going up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, whereas the rest of it, once you're up, you're up as such. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor... Yeah, I can't remember that one. Yeah, if you're a lover of ice cream, which who isn't a lover of ice cream? Uh, at that point there, if you head up that hill there, beyond the, uh, the brow of the hill there, you end up at Point Castle. Um, absolutely outstanding ice cream. Um, oh yeah, to die for on a proper hot day on this path. There's nothing you wouldn't do for one of them, I can guarantee it. They are also available in Porth Kleis and the kiosk there. This part of the coastline is littered with caves. Um, majority you cannot get to without being on the water. So hopefully in the near future we'll be able to get the paddleboard out and uh, get into some of them. One good thing about walking any coast path in Pembrokeshire in weather like today it's drizzling, a bit windy, a bit overcast. It's nine times out of ten, you don't see anyone for ages. So it is literally just you, your thoughts and the path. And slowly your thoughts disappear and you just take in what's around you. And that there is the top tip for life. Take in what's around you. Obviously cliffs on these walks are pretty dodgy areas. Uh, never stand on the edge. Never ever stand on the edge of a cliff. It only takes one soft bit of ground, you're gone. Um, yeah, you don't want to be standing on the edge. There's a lot of subsidence lately uh, with the weather. Obviously it's been quite warm. There, the beach in the background, that is Newgill. That's where we started today's walk. It's quite a long way. Got Dina's flower and then green scar. Kudos to the Pembrokeshire Coast National Park Rangers who have been out strimming the edges um, 
yeah opening the path up a little bit more so yeah fair play to you difficult thing to see um, I don't know if you'll be able to but down there all the plastic waste that's uh, obviously been washed in there is no access to that cove without going in from the water um, so yeah, it obviously just gets left there just stopped to uh, get a little nibble out my bag and I uh, realised I packed my stove yes so the next little cove we get to I'm going to brew up a coffee uh, in my Aeropress go and there we have St Elvis Rock I don't know the story behind that one and the entrance to Solver Harbour put that down there looks a good spot for a coffee whoa she's chilly oh nice though well that's my first experience with the uh, Wayfarer beans and sausages um, overall pretty decent um, wouldn't say I'd like to live on them but that's a quick meal when you're out and about definitely recommend them um, I believe you can get bigger packs uh, that wasn't quite enough for me I don't believe well worth the money for them so uh, yeah Nice bit of coffee now. Oh, she's a beaut. Bit of kit. Uh, it's the first time I've used it. Is the Cocoon Light Large Microfiber Terry Towel. Uh, comes in this tan tidy little bag. Um, big enough to dry me after my dip. Um, and it goes back in the bag and the trunks are in there as well um, Yeah, I'll post a link to that um, below um, Yeah, nice handy bit of kit that Some more steps, playing havoc with my breathing. As we make our way through this small woodland area and make our final approach towards Solva. And then we have the remains of the Solver lime kilns uh, all over here and more predominantly there a bit more clear there well that's Solver there we've made it uh, five miles all in all uh, all that's left for me to say is thanks for joining me make sure you hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up and we'll see you next week for another walk.